a series RLC circuit RLC given connected to 10 volt root mean square voltage source and we will study frequency characteristics of uh, power factors and uh, real power dissipated by this resistor then reactive power of a capacitor and coil and we will utilize um, PSPICE at first I'm going sh to show you screenshots then we will uh, run PSPICE to show you how these screenshots are created so on this screenshot below we have a plot of uh, phase angle of this current um, uh, as a function of frequency from plus 90 degrees to minus 90 degrees uh, resonant frequency is for a level equal zero uh, and then it means that we have capacitive character leading power factor for lower frequencies for higher frequencies now we have lagging power factor uh, above we have mm, uh, this power factor uh, as a function of frequency so we can see that uh, this power factor is reaching unity for resonant uh, frequency exactly next a plot is uh, real power real power maximum of real power dissipated by this resistor uh, is at the resonant frequency and obviously this power is 10 watts and now a reactive power at first capacitor below we have uh, capacitance modulus of capaci of uh, reactance of capacitor uh, from infinity to zero and above we have uh, reactive power from zero to zero uh, reaching a maximum in absolute values for resonant frequency at this point we have modulus of uh, reactive power of 100 volt amp reactive with regards coil below we have its uh, reactance uh, from zero to infinity and above we have a real power from zero to zero reaching its maximum of 100 volt amp reactive at the resonant frequency and finally I will consider both together these two elements connected in series below we have reactances uh, uh, coil and modulus of absolute value of uh, capacitor reactants we have a logarithmic scale here on vertical axis and above we have uh, a reactive power of these two elements so for low frequencies we have a capacitive character reactive power is negative it is zero for resonant frequency and above resonant frequency uh, inductive character of this circuit and um, reactive power is positive okay now uh, let me show you how to create these plots so I'm going to start a simulation So uh, this is our netlist stored in a computer memory. Mm, we may start the simulation. Okay, an empty window. The first trace to be added is phase angle of current P. Current. Okay. Current leads voltage until resonant frequency, then voltage leads current. We may add another plot to this window, this plot trace. It will be a power factor which is cosinus of this phase angle, cosinus of this phase angle. And we have to multiply by pi and divided divide by 180 to obtain degree in radians okay this is power factor unity for resonant frequency and now I'm going to change uh, replace uh, this plot at first I have to delete this plot now I'm going to replace this plot by uh, a real power real power is product of modulus of voltage across a resistance multiplied by modulus of current uh, 10 watt real power at the resonant frequency now we will study reactances and reactive power so at the bottom plot I'm going to replace these by reactance modulus of reactance of 
in this capacitor trace add trace a modulus of reactance then we have a modulus of voltage which is V three two divided by current obviously it is absolute value infinity zero and top plot I'm going to delete this one to add a new one trace add trace and reactive power reactive power it is um, a minus and voltage multiplied by current so negative for resonant frequency we have minus 100 volt amp reactive okay then let me add uh, coil reactance to the bottom plot a bottom plot and I'm going to add a coil uh, reactance coil reactance it is uh, a coil voltage V13 divided by coil current now obviously we have to change a scale on the vertical axis to a logarithmic one so this is a reactance of coil uh, this is modulus of reactance of a capacitor let me add or replace here this plot by reactive power of coil reactive power of coil it is a coil voltage multiplied by its current one hundred volt amp reactive for a resonant frequency now let me replace uh, this plot by the plot of total reactive power trace add trace so I have to add reactive power of both elements uh, which means that I have to add power of the first element let's say coil and subtract power of capacitor reactive power yes and everything has to be multiplied by a current okay this is uh, reactive power total reactive power zero at resonant frequency negative for frequencies lower and positive for frequencies higher than resonant frequency that way we have completed um, calculations for this problem